RCMP presented awards to outstanding officers and to civilians today to honor them for their bravery, for their community commitment, and in some cases for their longevity. In the Comox Valley, Canada's longest serving auxiliary Mountie is still walking the beat four decades later. CTV's Gord Kerbis has his story. <laughs> Filing in for a recognition ceremony, more than two dozen RCMP officers and civilians prepare to be honored by the RCMP for their feats of bravery and longevity. The awards today are meant to acknowledge and celebrate significant achievements and distinguished service, individual acts of bravery and outstanding service, and long careers of exemplary service. Some are here for specific crime-fighting efforts, while others help to try to save lives. Many received recognition for service as members for 20, 25, or 30 years, but one man is honored for his four decades, not as a paid RCMP member, but as a volunteer auxiliary. Auxiliary Constable David Mellon for presentation of the Peace Officer Exemplary Service Medal and Certificate of Appreciation. Constable Dave Mellon has been with the Comox Valley RCMP as an unpaid crime fighter for 40 years. He's now the longest currently serving auxiliary in Canada. A good friend of mine, Don Ford, just retired in Smithers with 44 years service and he had to retire because he turned 70. It's mandatory so I could effectively go for another six years but I think that might be pushing it a bit and I, I promised Don I wouldn't break his record. <laughs> For much of his time, the 63-year-old Mellon has been up here in the skies over the Comox Valley, helping with searches or on patrols such as on Halloween. He's also a regular when it comes to helping with the dismantling of marijuana plantations. Became very, very, very interesting through the years. Got involved in a lot of interesting things. I saw a lot of things I wish I didn't have to see, but was able to help out and do something uh, that I felt was... Uh, of, uh, of value to the community. Mellon was asked to join the regular RCMP service but declined because of marriage restrictions back then. Plus, he didn't want to risk being transferred out of the Comox Valley. We've been very fortunate to do a number of different things with the RCMP and uh, because the level of activity has kept up and the interest has kept up, I, I've stayed with it. He knows he still has a few more years of service left in him and he's proud to serve those alongside with the paid members. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Campbell River.